Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Leica M7. It was made from 2002 until May of this year, 2018. It was the first uh, Aperture Priority uh, of the M series. It also shoots full manual, but it, for full functionality you do need batteries. It was their first electronic shutter goes from 32 seconds to a thousandth of a second in auto, plus it has bulb. Uh, the max shutter speed in, uh, not max shutter speed, the max duration in manual is four seconds. It has a couple of mechanical settings if your batteries die. It's 1 60th and 1 125th and has this little line here showing that those are the manual speeds. It sinks at a 50th. I was also the first Leica to introduce uh, DX encoding and it'll uh, take uh, film. This one's marked for ISO 6 to 6400 and it'll do exposure compensation uh, two stops in third stop steps. The earliest ones of these had problems with the DX encoding I've just been setting this one manual. I've only shot two rolls through it, so I don't know if this one has that problem. It takes four SR44 or two of the one-third in batteries, and even though it's this circle, um, you put them in upright and they go up in the body. So you have to put them in like a barrel that you're trying not to spill. This one has the uh, 0.72 uh, viewfinder magnification. Is also available in 0.58 and 0.85. It brings up the frame lines depending on what lens you mount to it. Uh, it has 2890, 35, 135, and 50, 75. And then you can also change the frame lines using this lever here. It'll bring them up in the viewfinder. This has the older M mount. It doesn't read the, the dot coding like the later ones. Let me unlock it here. This little lever by the shutter button locks it. In the viewfinder, when it's in automatic mode, I'll put it in automatic mode, it brings up the uh, shutter speed that it's selecting based on the aperture that you have selected here. Um, the speed is stepless, so it can get it pretty spot on. And if you're in one of the manual speeds, it's got kind of a chase the dot thing. It's got arrows that either point this way or this way, and then a dot in the center um, showing that you got the exposure. If it's showing a dot and an arrow, it's about a half stop off. If it's just showing the arrow, you're one or more stops off. It meters off of a painted dot on the front of the shutter curtain. So that's kind of cool. So it always has you know, a reference brightness to work with. So it should be pretty consistent. Uh, it activates the meter with a half press of the shutter. There's a cable release. Um, it does not have a self timer. It does off the film flash metering but it requires a dedicated flash, which I don't have. Uh, it's got standard hot shoe contact and then the extra contacts for the uh, Leica flash. It also still has a uh, PC cord socket back here. What I've got on here is a Voigtlander 40 millimeter lens. This thing doesn't have frame lines for a 40 millimeter, but I got pretty good ballparking between the 50 and the 35 frame lines. That's what makes this really nice because the 40 brings up the 35 millimeter frame. I got pretty good at guesstimating it. Precise framing is not what rangefinders are known for anyway. Wanted to give it a, a proper test run though. I managed to score an old 50 millimeter Summicron F.2 and this is the uh, tell it's got this flatness here in this little ball. This is the close focusing one. I've got the match set of goggles amazingly. But the M7 is a little bit too tall to put in um, the electronics. 
it sits about a half inch taller than the mechanical M bodies and it won't take the goggles and the lens will only go into the close focus mode with the goggles attached. I'm sure there's a way to defeat that, but I haven't researched it that much. So, had to get an old mechanical body. I'll be uh, reviewing that one pretty soon. But until then, I'm going to keep shooting with this. I don't know if it changed my life, but I definitely enjoy shooting with it. Just listen to that shutter. It doesn't get any more subtle than that. And amazingly, other than this little crack in the viewfinder glass, this one seems to be in good shape. I got a really good deal on it. It's the only way I'm going to afford a Leica. So I'll keep shooting with it, and I'll see you then.